I'm not angry my sister might be sick, I'm upset my parents will suffer, my sister and I were never close, she treated me poorly, both emotionally and physically, and it went beyond the usual sibling arguments, she would strike me with objects, tie things around my neck, poke me with sharp things so no one would notice, and hold me down when I was sleeping to harm me, she teased me and encouraged others to be unkind to me until I developed unhealthy eating habits, this continued until she left for college, I'm not innocent in this either, and I recognize that, I defended myself, and that only made her react more. I did things to irritate her in retaliation, but I never physically fought back unless it was necessary to get away. There are many stories I could tell, but the most significant one for this context is that she set me up to be assaulted by her boyfriend's friend. She let him into my locked room and helped him. She made me feel ashamed and blamed me so I wouldn't tell anyone. This happened twice until my mom caught me hurting myself to cope and I finally told her. My sister acted clueless, but once my mom knew, I was safe. That was the final breaking point, and I vowed never to forgive her. When my mom became unwell, my sister left the family to party and do things like drinking and other reckless behaviors. I was the one who stayed, took care of mom, and kept the family together. My sister did things that upset my parents, trying to get attention. Life only became peaceful once she was gone. It has now been eight years since we lived together. In that time, I earned two degrees, got married, and have had a decent life. My sister and I are polite to each other, but she knows I won't forgive her, no matter how much she apologizes or claims to have changed. In August, my aunt passed away from ovarian cancer. She chose to stop fighting it and passed away with grace. This week, I got a message from my mom saying there was an emergency and I needed to call her. I left work and called her right away. She told me my sister had been diagnosed with ovarian cancer. The doctors are still figuring out how far it's spread and what the options are. My mom asked me to get tested because I had been avoiding hereditary testing for the breast cancer gene, thinking it wasn't a big risk and that it would increase my health and life insurance costs. I cried with my mom and comforted her. It's been a few days, and I've been crying on and off, constantly checking on my parents. After talking with my husband, who has helped me heal from much of the trauma I experienced, I realized something that made me feel awful. I'm not upset for my sister. My sister may never have children, which might be for the best. I'm not sad for her. I'm not sorry that she may go through a hard time. I'm crying because my parents are hurting, knowing they are scared, knowing they might lose someone they love, even though I don't love her.